And what's up everybody, I'm back with another movie review. Today, I am reviewing Rio, released I think in 2011. Um, it's about a movie taking place in Rio with birds. I mean, I think a lot of you have heard of this movie. It was a very, very highly promoted movie and it was a big, big, big deal when it came out. Um, I remember all the promotions for it. I remember the McDonald's toys. I remember them partnering with Angry Birds to do the Angry Birds video uh, game. Uh, and I remember playing that and doing a bunch of other stuff. It, it was a huge, huge deal. Not many people talk about it nowadays, but I was decided to revisit it for a review. Um, and I got a lot of thoughts on this movie. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Um, first off, I don't, I, I, it had been a long time since I had seen this movie, hence why I wanted to rewatch it, but I did not remember Blue's voice being this annoying. Um, I, I don't, I don't know exactly who voices Blue, but I remember him not being nearly as annoying. Um, he's, he's a pretty annoying character. He's a little bit of an annoying character throughout the entire movie, but I mean, that's what they're supposed, it's a, it's a good design, I think. Uh, it's not a terrible, like... Um, it's not a terrible type of, of character. Like you can like him. I mean, it goes through a good character arc, so it's okay. Um, but, uh, I, I still don't, um, I still didn't, I just, the voice, I just never could get around. I can never get around that. Uh, the music's pretty good. I don't remember, I didn't remember the music being that big of a part of the movie as it is. Um, but I thought the music overall was pretty good, fit the, fit the vibe that I think they were going for. Um, though it didn't make, the movie did, does make Carnival, which I kind of want to go to still. Um, but we'll see. It's not really on my, the top of my bucket list and we know what we mean, but, um, um, it makes it just seem like a fucking giant ass furry party. Which, obviously, when I was eight and saw the movie for the first time, I didn't really care about. But now, I do care about it because it's weird. I don't know if that's what Carnival actually is. Um, but, it may be. I don't know if anybody's ever been to Carnival. I'd love to know if that's how it works. But, I don't know. Oh, what else we got for my notes? Um... I, I, I found the villains to be very, very good villains at being hateable. Um, there was no redeeming qualities about any of them. They just, they're, they're just easy to hate, which is kind of the point, I think. You know, a, a good villain is either one that, a good villain is a memorable villain. And these villains weren't memorable, but I think they were good in the fact that you watch the movie and you hate them. Um, so they're not like exceptionally good villains, but, you know, they're not terrible, so... I definitely thought that was good. Um, the animation's still pretty good. I like all the colors and stuff like that. The birds, all the kinds of birds you can see in the movie are pretty cool. And, uh, like I said, the, the character development is is pretty good. Um, the characters, the other characters besides Blue are, are okay. Um, like, uh, you know, Jewel and the dog or uh, other birds, that the street birds or the toucan guy. I always remember correlating him with Fruit Loops because it's, you know, the mascot kind of thing but um you know i thought this i remember i don't remember this movie being as good as i actually thought it was i mean it's not a spectacular movie this definitely has some flaws um there were definitely a lot of things that i forgot about for good reason um and from not watching it as a kid but overall um i thought it was a pretty good movie i think it's definitely worth the watch it's not it's not going to be like your favorite movie of all time unless you're a big bird fan or a big Carnival fan, which I don't know how many of those people are out there. Um, but there has to be some. There has to be some. But anyway, for my final score for Rio, I'm going to have to give it a good... I'll give it a 6. I'll give it a 6 or a 7. It's not bad. Um, but not too, not great. I, I think it aged better than I remember it aging. Just don't play Angry Birds Rio, okay? Let's just can can we forget about that, please? Um, please. Anyways, um, that's it for my review for Rio. Um, I know I played the video game, and now I've also done the movie for a review. So there we go. 
But um, if you've ever seen Rio, I'd love to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And that's going to do it for this video as well. So stay tuned for much more amazing content, including more movie reviews and other awesome stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.